Alexa, turn off dining room light. Okay. Alexa, turn on open drapes. Okay. Well, I've been in search of technology to help me manage my life in spite of blindness, you know, for over 30 years, more like 35. Google Glass, in my opinion, didn't become popular with the public because it probably wasn't ready for prime time in the way that they laid it out. The capabilities they hadn't explored fully enough or developed fully enough for the general public to adopt it. But what's happened now with IRA is that they've taken that technology that didn't appeal to the general public, okay? They've adapted it so that it actually becomes an effective tool with multiple facets right. for use by people that are blind as well as visually impaired. And right up here in the front, this little portal just above my fingernail, that's the camera that the agent will be looking for, looking through rather, and that you know, the real action takes place. All I would need to do would be to tap on the app. You know, I could ask the agent to help me read something that came in the mail. I can ask them to read something that's on the computer screen because my computer stopped talking. I could clear out the shelf and then I could have them identify the stuff I couldn't. And, you know, one thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to look at some of the expiration dates on there. Okay. Okay, you got your picture. So I'm going to throw this one away. Ira and the Google Glasses, I can say, they're limited by the imagination of the user. I'm looking at trying to, and I know it can be done, navigate through the airport. Once I leave the, the ticket desk, I'll be able to have Ira guide me through the airport to my gate, on through security, and up through the TSA screen. And after my dog and I have finished screening by TSA, then I can pick up my belongings and proceed on to my actual gate and find a seat and sit down. And without the aid of another human being beyond that agent.